Well, the relevant story is uh, that in Kong Street, uh, there were horses, uh, a lot of pushing and shoving. Um, I think police were dragging someone, grabbing and dragging them away, and I think I stepped in to grab the person. And uh, I was grabbed by probably three officers. I was dragged down the street towards the police trucks. Um, at some point I realised it was over, they had me, so I just went very limp and became very calm. Um, sat down on the ground. They uh, didn't handcuff me or anything like that. They didn't take a statement. They didn't read me my rights. Uh, they took my phone, wallet, and stuff off me, but they were the person, the police officer who did it was an older bloke who was very calm and very peaceful. Thank Christ, because I was scared, that's for sure. Uh, and there was another officer as well. I didn't look at their ranks because I was too spaced out. The fact I, th I thought I was being arrested, I thought I was going to jail, I was fucking terrified. Um, uh, shortly afterwards, they put me in a van and uh, uh, someone else from the camp who'd been at the camp the whole time as well was already in there, so thank Christ for that. Um, two more guys came in. Um, uh, hang on, I've been, actually, sorry, I've got that completely wrong. I don't remember what order we went in. I fucking, it's, it's kind of jumbled up, unfortunately, because... Fine. Anyway, it ended up being six of us in the van, and then one by one, over a period of 20 minutes, we were put into another van that actually had windows, smaller van, and shortly after that, we were driven out to Eltona, uh, or Newport, and uh, they simply opened the doors of the van and let us out next to a paddock. Um, a really long walk from a train station, and they'd let, let us out. Uh, one of the guys had concussion, very bad concussion, probably a broken foot from uh, having his foot slammed in the door. Was very upset. Um, I think he's actually mentally ill as well, so he was not able to deal with it very well at all. And then he ran off by himself. Uh, we couldn't stop him, we couldn't do anything because we were exhausted ourselves. And we just made our way to the station, train station, very far away, came back to Melbourne, and um, yeah, that, that's what happened. And it wasn't until I got back that um, a couple of different people said, well, actually, you've just been kidnapped. Yeah, that's right.